Hey guys, Julian here. Today, I'm going to be showing you real quick what fifths are in relation to music theory. So, what is a fifth? So, you know, when you have a key, for example, I'll choose C. You have your root note, and you add notes on top of that to give it sort of like the flavor of what kind of chord you want. Well, what a fifth is, is it's a note that is always exactly seven semitones up from the root. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... And it's always going to work no matter what key you're in. Whether you have a major chord or a minor chord, the fifth is still always going to work with your root. So, like, okay, I'll show you, for example, I'll make C major. So we have C, E, and then G. So that's a C major chord. But if I switch this to C minor, that fifth still works. What it does is it sort of sits on top of your root note. And just gives it a little bit of an extra, like an extra voice, but it's not, it's like working with it. It's not taking away from it, if that makes any sense. Like, for example, if I add a D sharp and make it a C minor chord, the D sharp and the C are working together in a way where you can really hear how, like, you can really hear the relationship between them. With the fifth, you don't hear it as much as it just sort of adds body and, like, depth to your chords. Um, and yeah, it's just a really good thing to know what fifths are. Now, I know there's a lot of ways to, like, figure out of what a fifth is. Um, there's, like, the circle of fifths. There's all that. But really, it's, it's actually a lot simpler. You don't need, like, any kind of, like, guide or anything. Your fifth is always going to be seven semitones up from your root. And it's actually kind of weird they decided to name it a fifth, but I guess that's just what happened. So, I'll show you. So, for example... I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have our fifth. Also, fun fact, if you're familiar with guitars and like playing guitar and the way guitars tune, this is actually a power chord. Like if you played a C major power chord or a C power chord, this will be the same two notes that you would play. Um, and yeah, you see, I can move this all across the keyboard and no matter where we are, they're always gonna have the same relationship. So, it's a very good thing to know. And once again, like, once you have these two, the root note and the fifth, all you have to do to make your chord is just put in either your major third or your minor third. And you have, like, a, ba a pretty basic chord that will, that really works. I mean, you can use this, obviously, to make a whole lot of songs. So, that's really it for today, guys. I just want to make this quick video to show you what a fifth is. Let me know in the comments if you like these music theory tutorials. I can make some more if you want to. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, like this video, subscribe, share this video if it really helped you. Um, check out my social media, check out my sample packs, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another tutorial.